Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is not date or time specific, so whenever you come upon it, if it speaks to you, it might be your message at that time. You can be here as a cross watcher for Pisces, that's fine. You may need to flip the energies around. It's like I said, it's general, it's not private. So it will come through differently for all of you, and I am drawing off the energy of those of you watching. Uh, if you're interested in a private reading, though, uh, in case this is your first time hearing it, I do offer them. There's a link in the description box below um, that will take you to the booking page, and you can scroll through the testimonials there and read all about it and um, see what people think of their experience. Okay, um, we'll pass the new moon. Yay. Uh, <laughs> we're we're uh, through all the retrogrades of the personal planets. They're all direct. Mercury went direct on the 15th. Um, we do have the retrograde parade of the outer planets, though, like Saturn and Neptune and Pluto and Jupiter and Uranus are all retrograde. But those really impact us more as a collective um, and not necessarily in our personal daily lives. So I thought I would give you that little heads up. Um, we're a little more than halfway through the month, but I did do a September um, Love Tarot Energy Update reading. I will be doing those monthly. So if you missed it, it gave you the overall energies for the month since these individual Zodiac readings are not date and time specific because we're all on different timelines. You can go to that to, go, to just get a sense of where the energies are for the month. Okay, all right. Here we go. This is Sword of Light Oracle. It is a Mar an Arch uh, Archangel Michael deck. Sword of Light to activate the reading here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the reading, you'll consider joining us here by subscribing. <laughs> oh, Pisces, you get card 18. Let it go. This situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so you can embrace the future. And one and eight is nine. And numerologically speaking, nine is like we're wrapping up loose ends before we hit the 10, which is completion. So there's something here from the past that's either haunting you a bit or that you just kind of haven't finally processed. And you're being guided to sort of evaluate that. You're in the home stretch. If there's anything that's kind of hanging on, bothering you, something that you haven't quite resolved for yourself, focus on that and then let it go. Great advice for any of us, um, but it is available to those of you watching. So what I'll do is I'll pull the spread, I'll give you my general impressions, and then we'll get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go, Queen of Cups crossed by the Six of Cups. Wow, Chariot in your unconscious awareness. Nine of Cups in the past, Two of Pentacles right now, Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Death Card. So yeah, something needs to be released. Um, the Death Card is, you know, not always about ending. Sometimes it is about like, ugh, I just need to Marie Kondo that right out the door. It doesn't serve me anymore. It's inhibiting my growth, change, and transformation. So keep that in mind. Um, here we go. We're coming in with Queen of Cups energy. That is an open heart. It can be a little bit emotionally needy at times in her reversed energy, but she's very intuitive, um, very compassionate, very sensitive. And what's challenging this Queen of Cups is the Six of Cups. And that would be past life soulmate energy, this person that you're here to watch um, about. Um, there's a challenge around it, as open as you've been, as open-hearted as you've been, as receptive as you may be, something stuck. It's not moving because in your unconscious awareness, we have the chariot. And the chariot is talking about making progress, always moving, you know, it's a victory card, triumph, moving toward or away from something, always to serve your highest good. But in reversed energy, it doesn't go no damn where. And that's what I think I see here. In the past, nine of cups, kind of coming through as maybe an absence of some wish fulfillment or somebody being more complacent. What we've got right now in your conscious awareness is the two of pentacles, trying to assess realities on the ground. What am I really dealing with 
here going forward nine of wands not really giving up but feeling maybe frustrated or even just exhausted by the whole situation so spirits talking to you about the queen of wands we'll see what that's about but it feels to me like you got to kind of reclaim your power remember who you are um and the queen of wands is usually very enterprising in in matters of the heart in business in all aspects of life she's pretty crafty and pretty creative and definitely magical and mystical so there's something about reclaiming your power that i feel spirits guiding you to in the hidden energies your person has thoughts of you um admires you looks up to you the nine of pentacles is almost like you standing out in the garden there and you know just looking like the lovely fetching creature that you are so there's beautiful admiration with the nine of pentacles seeing you as independent and autonomous um respecting that quality in you um also she is um very powerful with with regard to law of attraction the nine of pentacles seems to be able to draw to her um with ease pretty much her creature comforts and it's interesting because the queen of wands has a similar gift <laughs> albeit a little bit more um witchy if you see the black cat at her feet there's a little bit more mysticism involved with the queen of wands than with the nine of pentacles but you get a similar flavor for them from them and then of course in your outcome position the death card it's it to me it's the end of something that's been a struggle it's what you're being guided here by archangel michael to let go of there's something that doesn't serve you anymore and you just have to release it i don't think it's the connection i think it's an aspect of what's been happening in the connection so let's jump in and get some clarity queen of cups six of cups temperance knight of cups eight of pentacles yeah i feel like you're being as patient as you can be and that's the challenge is um right it's almost like how bad do you want it there's something you know that has to be resolved eight of pentacles and unconscious awareness is something that needs a creative solution to a problem um a little bit of focused energy effort attention on a sit on an aspect of this connection but i do feel like i'm seeing some patience here as you await your person to come towards you with an open heart with you know with nothing to hide with some emotional vulnerability and availability and offer you know let's do this is kind of how i see it coming through but there's a challenge around it so let's see the chariot in your unconscious awareness queen of pentacles justice three of swords um whew. i'm getting this impression that there's some kind of formalized process that you've been patiently waiting to to see it result i don't think it's between you i think it's outside of your connection but it's been impacting your connection and i'm looking at that justice card it's holding up the progress because the chariot vroom vroom wants to go and i don't think it's moving and here is this queen of pentacles energy so if you're dealing with somebody let's just say for example what i'm trying to explain let's say you're um you're dealing with somebody who is in another committed connection whether they're married or not doesn't matter that's who i think i'm seeing the queen of pentacles as i don't think that queen of pentacles is you i think whoever it is is holding up the forward progress because there's not a resolution to it and it's causing some continual residual heartache um that's what i feel because you're waiting for this person to come towards you and i don't see any problem between you but there's definitely an an acknowledgement on your part at least unconsciously like this we need to work through this situation and nothing's really changing and so i think in your unconscious awareness you're really drawing on some kind of formalized process now that queen of pentacles it can be representational of anything but it's kind of coming through as um something that needs to be dealt with not between you but by your person and unless or until that's dealt with there's no progress 
And that's why we have the Three of Swords here. So that feels pretty oddly specific, almost like a private reading. So if it's, you know, speaking to you, extra confirmation. Now we have the Nine of Cups in the past. Come on, Laura, you can do this. Chariot again. Eight of Cups. Yeah, no forward progress. I almost feel like you really needed, the wish fulfillment would have come from an ability to clear the air. I do not think that occurred. I feel like whoever you're dealing with here just kind of left things as they are. Like, you know, Nine of Cups can be about, well, I'm uh, things are pretty good. Yep, I don't see a need to do anything different. Notice how he's sitting there, really self-satisfied, arms across his chest. I got nine cups. Who needs ten? I'm good. Well, you need ten, <laughs> okay? And if not, it's like, well, if this isn't going to move forward, if we're not going to clear the air or... You know, if there is no truth coming my way, I've got to move on. I'm seeing it as if there was no change, nothing um, made any progress, and it kind of necessitated you to consider leaving it behind. That's part of the message here too, right? Um, the so situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past. So this is something where I feel like no change was made. And here you are sitting on the fence, trying to assess realities on the ground. What am I really dealing with here in this connection? Let's see what your energy tells me. Five of Swords. I feel defeated in this situation. Absolutely. I, should I just close it out? Feeling defeated, feeling disempowered. That's why Spirit's talking to you about the Queen of Wands and reclaiming your power. Here with the world, it's almost like an unconscious awareness. You're like, well, you know, I just want to make some kind of progress. So if I have to close out this cycle so I can begin a new cycle, I'll do that. The world card comes in as some form of closure. Even if it's not between you and this person, it has to be regarding a situation, an aspect of the connection that isn't um, gaining any traction, that isn't making any forward motion, that you're not getting any clarity about, and that you're feeling a little bit like I'm being strung, strung along. So let's look at the Nine of Wands in the near future. Nine of Cups again frustrated to no end and closing. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh. Frustrated and exhausted by the lack of wish fulfillment, the complacency of your person, feeling the emotional distance, disconnection, disillusionment, unhappiness. Um, yeah, like something's passing you by and there's the nine of wands again, but you're not going to give up. That's the thing. The Nine of Wands is a card of perseverance, sort of the against all odds. And notice that this card came out to be a nine as well. One and eight is nine. And I said, you're almost ready to close it out. Well, the next card out would be the Ten of Wands, right? So even in the near future, you're still working through that last little bit of, is this something that I could, if I persevere a little longer, things will change? Or am I just sort of, <laughs> Am I just sort of, um, you know, beating a dead horse? For lack of a better, <laughs> lack of a better phrase. That's sort of how it's coming through. Like, is this really, is this thing really done? Do I need to release the whole connection? Or is there just some aspect of the connection, like someone's complacency, that they haven't taken action, that only they can take? That's my example, right? You couldn't take an action if somebody has to take some formalized action with someone else they've been involved with. You have no dog in that fight. You can't do anything about it. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm not sure it's necessarily the connection you're closing out, but just sort of this disempowered energy where you're not sure that there's ever going to be any change or progress. So let's see what Spirit says about the Queen of Wands. And I was only using that as an example. Of course, it's a general uh, reading, so you'll need to make it, um, you know, make it make sense for yourself. King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Whoo! 
This is interesting. So now we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So again, and there's the moon, right? What you don't know, what you can't see, what's behind the veil, what triggers our fears and worries and apprehensions and insecurities. And I kind of feel like it's this is the same person, but they've got two different roles. And so in this case, Spirit's almost saying, are you worried or concerned that you're dealing with an unavailable lover? Because they are committed elsewhere. They're showing up somewhere else for someone else and not you. I know, um, it feels, um, pretty consistent all the way around here. I'm not really getting any other strong interpretation. I do feel this is someone you feel very connected to um past life soulmate or you've known them for a long time in this incarnation so there's comfort and, and familiarity you know this person's behaviors and habits maybe so that complacency that nine of cups kind of like well uh, you know i don't feel the need to do anything different than i'm already doing can be very frustrating um and so spirits really acknowledging where your fear is coming from that perhaps you've given away your power to somebody who has not made themselves available to you. So let's see what your person in the hidden energies um, has going here. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Nine of Pentacles again. We're getting all these bookends. Um... They definitely, uh, they definitely want a new beginning, and I'm seeing an offer that they're contemplating, but they're overthinking it. This is your energy. The Nine of Pentacles is unmistakably your energy. Um, but I feel like this is somebody who's in a phase of, of um, two steps forward, one step back, thinking through step, you know, you know, well, if A, then B, but if B, then C, all the contingency plans, all the permutations, and what they're doing is overthinking. Um, and they can't kind of can't come in with an offer for you unless or until they deal with some formal situation that they're, that's over here that doesn't involve you. So they may want this new beginning with you, but they haven't taken care of whatever it is that needs to be taken care of. And remember, I said it doesn't have to involve another person. To me, it feels like it, it involves another person. But again, there are a bunch of you here. So you have, you know, however it resonates for you. But I'm really seeing with the King and Queen of Pentacles, like one group over here, and then there's you and this person. And you're the king and queen of wands, and they're not available for you at this time because they haven't done the thing they need to do. Um, but they want to make you this offer, and they're very much stuck. They're stuck. It's a prison of their own making, but oh well, they're stuck. So let's see. In the outcome position, we have the death card. Oof. Um... This is totally Archangel Michael coming through the death card and the five of cups. Let it go. Let go of the past. You have to sever the ties of something that's been a disappointment to you so you can heal. Because unless or until you do, the, the wish can't be granted. Um, the focus really needs to be on healing, on releasing something that's in the way of your own personal transformation of you moving forward on your own spiritual path. So again, I'm not 100% sure it's this connection. It could be for some of you, you'll, I'm sure you'll come into the comments. So, you know, try to keep it positive and you'll say, yeah, this was the confirmation I needed that I really need to release this totally because it's, you know, it's really an energy drain and I do feel disempowered and this person might want something with me, but they're not doing what they need to do. They're stuck, so I have to move on. There will be some of you that come from that point of view. For others of you, there's something from the past 
There's something that has occurred that you're kind of holding on to that you haven't quite processed somehow. And that's what you need to close out. That's the cycle. So you can reclaim your power and not feel so defeated. Almost like what, what we release is that tendency to stay in a holding pattern. And that's what I feel the Two of Pentacles is coming through in a little bit of a way. It's coming, coming through as a stalling tactic. Like, I'm just going to keep this energy between us moving. And hopefully, if I don't give up, they'll come around. They'll take that action they need to take. They'll do that thing. They'll formalize this and that and the other thing. And then we'll pick up. And I feel like it's kind of that juggling act, but, you know, moving... <laughs> moving fast and going nowhere. And that's what I'm seeing here. And that may be what you need to release is that disappointment um, that you've been sort of holding out for something that hasn't really materialized. Um, and that may be what you need to um, sever ties to is, you know, your life has to kind of move forward. You have to keep making progress in your own life while this person works out it's like you're walk you're walking forward on two parallel tracks and you've been kind of waiting for the paths to converge and they just haven't that hasn't happened yet so it, it's almost like in order to heal you've got to release the past the disappointment um the frustration the exhaustion um patience is <laughs> wonderful and in temperance, there's a wisdom to it, but it feels to me like if there's frustration with the patient, that's maybe what needs to be released and severed is because it's holding you back now. It's not um, coming from the highest of vibrations. It's sort of, well, I'm waiting, damn it. <laughs> Nothing's changing, but I've been patient. Well, that's not the greatest energy to come from. So maybe that's the point of um, what needs to be released for now so that you can heal and so that dreams can be manifesting, <laughs> wishes can come true. And I do feel like this person wants a new beginning with you, but they're stuck. And unless or until they get out of their head, there's nothing you can really do about it. So what I want to do is I want to look at the situation from this King of Wands point of view. That's what I'm going to do in the extended. So it's this King of Wands that, you know, is frustrating you at this time. But whoever is this past life soulmate, Six of Cups person that you're waiting on, um, that's who I want to check out. I want to see how they show up. I want to see how they see the situation, how they think about you, feel about you, how they see you maybe. Um, their intentions toward you and the connection going forward. So the link to that is in the description box below in the first sentence. Here's the astrology. Our Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. So is the Chariot, which is out twice. So we have strong Cancerian energy here. Temperance is Sagittarius. The Knight of Cups is Pisces. Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. Justice is Libra. Um, Knight of Swords is Gemini. Queen of Wands is out twice. That's Aries. The world is Saturn, which rules Capricorn and Aquarius. We ha used to be the ruler of Aquarius. Um, King of Pentacles is Taurus. King of Wands is Leo. And the moon is more Pisces. We have the Nine of Pentacles out twice. That's Virgo. Um, the death card is Scorpio. And the star is Aquarian energy. So yeah, dicey reading Pisces, but there's something important you need to let go so you can embrace your future and your future is bright. So I will see you at that extended and we'll check out our King of Wands here. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.